today I am uh, on my break. I am going to review the Yamaha SHS 500. Now, um, I did not pay full price for this, by the way. Um, I went into the local Sam Ash, the Las Vegas Sam Ash, and I noticed that these weren't selling very well. <laughs> So I offered to buy the floor model for like half the price as the regular one. And although they did not give me half off, they gave me almost half off. So um, basically this is the floor model of the Yamaha SHS 500. Um, it's an updated version of the 80s one that came out, I believe, in 87. Uh, there's 30 different uh, sounds on it, pre um, preset sounds on them. But what I really love about this guy is this is not the original. This is actually the Caucasian version of a Vocaloid. Now, what is a Vocaloid? It's this exact same guitar, but it plays only Japanese, like, it will sing in Japanese, basically, if you have a Vocaloid. So, and on the Vocaloid, and I swear, look it up on YouTube, on the Vocaloid, you could, like, type in lyrics and then play the lyrics play the, the tune that you want, and it will sing in Japanese to that tone. Awesome, dude. Now, had they made this into, like, some kind of Caucasian Vocaloid, I would be in love with this thing. Not to say that this isn't an awesome instrument. The cool thing about this guitar, and the cool thing about all guitars, is that none of them are alike. They're all different. You have to relearn the entire instrument when you get a new one. So with this one... You can play 30 different instruments on it. And the cool thing is, just like a full synthesizer, you can change the filter, the dynamics, uh, the reverb, the chorus, all of that. You can control those, um, making you able to shape the sound. I've noticed more and more today in modern music, it's less composed and it's more about sound engineering, especially when it comes to EDM. Um, I love how this is MIDI compatible. Um, I really want a Yamaha KX5. It's one of the guitars from the 80s. I love 80s guitars only because I love that retro feel. And um, when I was a little kid in the 80s, I thought everybody who was a teenager and everybody who was in their 20s, I thought they were the coolest ever. Um, and so as an adult, I still believe that the teenagers and the people in their 20s in the 80s were the coolest ever. So hence my love for 80s, um, 80s music, 80s uh, synthesizer music, and, and that's the kind of stuff I like to play. The cool thing about this is you could shape the sound. Okay, let's go to filter. You could change the filter. To link it less scratchy. Let's see your chorus. Whole bunch of chorus. No chorus. Basically, you have full control over the synthesizer sound, which is, I think, a lot of people are looking for in a synthesizer. If you want to play leads, you can play dope leads on this. The whole reason I carry this with me is so I could play leads. Oh, I really hope it's not busy. I don't want to go back to work. Uh, okay, um... What I love about it is you could also use it as a MIDI controller. You could plug this into any sound module. You could plug this into a sequencer. I feel bad there's no sequencer on this and there's no arpeggiator. But since it's MIDI compatible, you could hook it up to a sequencer and make your own sequences. And you can make it repeat that off of a sequencer. And that's why I love that. I want to use this with a Yamaha sequencer that I just got. Um... Actually, it's pretty old, but I want to use this with a uh, Yamaha sequencer that I haven't shown you guys before. That's very much related to, it's very much just like the, the Roland MT-120 I have. It's basically a Roland sequencer from the 80s that you record all of your MIDI information on a floppy disk. A Yamaha made one. Yamaha made it to the Yamaha Dom 30. It's a MIDI sequencer that you also record all of your MIDI data, data on a floppy disk, which is so awesome. Okay. I did put batteries in my boombox, so I still have a, a background mix. Um, what else do I love about this guitar? 
What they could have done to this guitar is made it a... They could have made it a Vocaloid. If you could only go on the website and hook this up to the website via Bluetooth, or even plug it into the USB into your laptop and play the Vocaloid off of this, it would be awesome, dude. Um, again, as far as a MIDI controller, it's a terrific MIDI controller. It's super lightweight. It's not expensive, especially if you try to barter, barter with them. Buy the floor model. I wouldn't suggest buying this brand new. Ooh. I gotta go back to work. <laughs> I hope everyone's having an awesome day. Thank you for letting me check in. On my days off, I will show you my sequencer that I play with this. <laughs>